This is uh, Shuttle Control Houston, 48 minutes uh, mission elapsed time. We have a report that the uh, solid rocket booster chutes uh, worked okay. Uh, both uh, solid, solid rocket boosters uh, in the water floating uh, normally. We uh, Uh, this is uh, Shuttle Control Houston, uh, 49 minutes uh, mission elapsed time. Uh, we have a report uh, from the surgeon that uh, Bob Crippen's heart rate at liftoff uh, was 130, and John uh, Young's heart rate uh, ranged between 85 and 90 at liftoff. This is uh, Shuttle Control Houston at uh, 51 minutes mission elapsed time. Uh, uh, we will have a, a taped replay uh, for engine engineers in the mission evaluation room at the Johnson Space Center. And uh, they are looking at the uh, tape replay uh, from cam camera positions on the pad. Uh, this is Shuttle Control Houston. Uh, this is uh, Shuttle Control Houston at uh, reacquiring uh, Columbia through uh, Yargity tracking.
this is Shuttle Control Houston, uh, 55 minutes mission elapsed time, uh, unsuccessful uh, so far in uh, uh, reaching astronauts uh, Young and Crippen uh, through this Yorgity Pass. It appears to be uh, an end. Through Yorgity. They're now going to wait until they uh, get a, a different aspect to a, uh, angle on the antenna uh, to try and call the crew again. Columbia, Houston, uh, with a UHF check through Yargity. Loud and clear, down loud here in Columbia. Roger, we got you now, uh, loud and clear. That uh, reply... Hey, Columbia, you just uh, broke up again. We have you for about uh, two and a half more minutes. That reply from Bob Crippen on this uh, third or fourth call. I got you right now, uh, reading you loud and clear on UHF, and uh, we'd like an uh, OMS-2 status when you can get it. Okay, it was nominal and all time. Right now, we're uh, down through the dips transition. Uh, we're in OMS-2 in both uh, GNC and uh, SM. We've got a freeze drive machine. And I'm on page 1-5, uh, yeah, 1-5, and uh, we're right now we're on reconfiguring by GPC. Roger, we copy. That uh, report that the uh, onboard computer uh, is being reconfigured uh, for Ops 2, the uh, on-orbit uh, program. We're at uh, 57 minutes mission elapsed time. Uh, this is uh, Shuttle Control uh, Houston, uh, less than a minute away now from loss of signal through Yargandy. That uh, report also that the Ohms 2 burn uh, was came off as programmed. In Columbia, Houston, we're 30 seconds uh, from LOS, so we'll see you at Aurora in about three minutes. Okay, Dale. This is Shuttle Control Houston at uh, 59 minutes mission elapsed time. Uh, coming up on uh, loss of signal through Yargity, the uh, next station to acquire will be Aurora Valley. Uh, we had a report uh, uh, from the crew aboard Columbia that they perform the Ohms 2 burn uh, as programmed and are presently uh, moving into Ops 2, the on-orbit, uh, on-board computer program. Four major events must occur in the first few hours for Young and Crippen uh, to stay on orbit. First, the, the onboard computer system uh, must be reloaded from Ops 1 to Ops 2. Uh, this has been accomplished. Uh, this is needed to align the inertial platforms. Also, uh, one computer uh, is loaded with Ops 3, the entry program, and put to sleep, uh, taken offline. Second, uh, the uh, payload bay doors must be opened to provide cooling through the radiators to Columbia. Uh, the flash evaporator has a lifetime of several hours. Third, the inertial platforms must be uh, realigned. Uh, 
They've been drifting since launch and are good only through Rev 5 or 6. Fourth, at least two of the three fuel cells must be purged with hydrogen and oxygen to uh, rid the impurities. Uh, the fuel, fuel cells can survive only so many hours uh, without purging. In the mission, uh, they'll be purged about every eight hours. Uh, we'll follow these uh, key activities as they occur. We're at uh, one hour mission elapsed time, and uh, this is Shuttle Control Houston. Uh, this is Shuttle Control Houston at uh, one hour, one minute uh, mission elapsed time, uh, less than 30 seconds away now from uh, reacquiring Columbia through Aurora Valley. <laughs> 